You have your exams coming up very soon and you have tons of topics to revise for your GCSE maths but you don't know where to start. Well, Pearson have released these two bootcamp guides, one for higher, one for foundation, and it tells you exam fit in 10 hours. So we'll have a look how good these bootcamp revision guides are and is it worth getting them. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Memorud here, helping you do better in math by giving you tips and tricks on how to revise. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you get notified about my videos, which is probably about once a year or so, but I'll try and make more videos, I promise, and do more revision videos on YouTube. So please do consider subscribing. Now, do you use any sort of revision guide? Then please comment with yes if you do. And comment with no if you don't. Just want to find out how many people actually use revision guides. Okay, now Edexcel have, uh, well, Pearson have uh, recently released Edexcel versions of the bootcamp revision guide. So it says revise Pearson Edexcel GCSE 921 Mathematics bootcamp exam fit in 10 hours. And this is for the higher version and it's the 921 exams. Okay, and let's have a look at the higher bootcamp revision guide. Now, start off with, it gives you a brief um, guidance on how to actually use this bootcamp revision guide. So if you ever get this, make sure you read through it so you'll get the most out of it right this way. Um, contents page, and these are the contents uh, listed on the higher bootcamp mat revision guide. Okay, now let's choose a topic and let's find out what we have. Now the first topic is number crunch and to start off with it gives you a, a brief detail about how to actually answer uh, product of prime factors and then you've got the power rules and some practice questions to get on with here and then the best thing about this is it gives you exam practice questions straight away. So this is very helpful to actually build your exam confidence and it gives you hints and helps on the side and at the end gives you some exam uh, tip. Okay, now some of the questions, more difficult questions, uh, will actually, actually gives you some uh, guidance on how to actually start off these type of questions. Okay, uh, let's have a look at another topic. Um, we have inequalities. Now, everything to do with inequalities are listed here. So you've got the inequality graphs, you've got the inequality number line, and quadratic inequality graphs and all sorts. So all the information you need about inequalities are here. You've got some exam practice questions. Well, no exam practice, just see some practice questions here and then exam practice again here. And some tips and hints on how to actually complete these questions. Now, let's have a look at the foundation one. So the foundation one looks like this. It's the green one. And it says revise Pearson at Excel GCSE 9 to 1 mathematics bootcamp exam fit in 10 hours and uh, foundation and it's for the 9 to 1 exam. Again, it gives you a little guidance on how to complete this bootcamp revision guide and then contents. Just have a quick glance on the topics that are listed on this bootcamp maths guide. Okay, now. First topic, number crunch. Again, similar layout with the, um, like the higher one, gives you information on all the number stuff here, and then exam practice questions, well, practice questions, and then exam practice questions here. And uh, similarly, it uh, gives you the hints on how to complete it and exam tips at the end. Let's have a look at one more topic. And uh, we have a transformation. Transformations, so all the stuff uh, you need to know about transformations, uh, some practice questions, and then exam practice questions here. Now, on the top uh, here, right hand side, you will see it says uh, links to pages with your revision guide. So, if you already have one of these revision guides, then um, you can actually look in more, well, have more information from your revision guides if you're stuck in any stages. Okay, uh, I made a video earlier this year on the revision guide, so please do check it out. And uh, the link is at the top here, right hand corner now. Now, the best, uh, another good thing about these revision uh, bootcamp uh, maths guide 
is that they have the answers at the back. Okay, so you can see answers to the practice questions. And with the exam questions, they actually give you a working out. So the whole working out uh, given in the answers. So it's very good to actually uh, self-assess. So once you completed it, go through the working and see whether you got them right or not. And if you got them wrong, and then try and attempt them again or use your revision guide to actually help you. Or ask your math teacher. Okay, that's what we're here for. And yeah, now the question is, is it worth getting them? Well, if you're very close to your exam and you're struggling to uh, manage your time uh, for your maths revision, then I would say yes, because there are 30 topics on listed here. And if you spend around about 20 minutes, I know some topics might take longer, some topics might take a bit less, but if you set yourself around about 20 to 25 minutes, well, 20 minutes per topic, then 30 topics will take you around about 600 minutes. And in hours, that's a bit, that'll be 10 hours might take more or might take less but 10 hours is a good time to actually spend on revision um, complete all your maths revision in just 10 hours now you can do that over two days three days four days five days or even one hour a day which is 10 days so it's up to you how you want to manage that now i would say yes it is worth getting them now do not forget to leave a comment uh, in the description if you need any further information and Papa? yes Boy. Boy. Okay, I'm coming one minute. Sorry about that, Moz is here. Okay. So, uh, yes. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'm going to play football with Moz. <laughs> I'm playing. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Bye. Oh. Bye bye. Oh yeah, good luck with your exam. Bye uh, Miss Mood helping you do bye better bye. in maths. Bye bye. <laughs>